Over the past week and a half, I've had the honor of playing Duet Night Abyss much earlier than expected, and what surprised me is not only did Hero Games reach out for a sponsored video, but they wanted me to give my honest opinion of the game's quality and make that opinion public. So, what I decided to do during my time with the game was to play the technical test as much as possible to find all the things I liked and all the things I didn't like about the game in order to make this one long video full of feedback while also chatting with all of you about my experience. As usual, just for business reasons, I feel the need to say that everything in this test is subject to change. Anything and everything may be very much different by the time you get your hands on the game, so keep that in mind. Before I get ahead of myself, let's start from the beginning. Immediately, I'm thrown into this world with a character known as Berenica who guides you through the tutorial where you're first shown how to play the game after being given a gun and a sword. You meet Miss Evil Y Hot, defeat her, and hope she's playable in the future because we must embrace the thick. It's through this segment of the game where you're immediately shown the way the game plays, the quality of the combat, and the world built. The scenes in the game are beautiful and filled with color while still having this weird dark ambience to the world as if something dark looms over it. Here's where I get a bit critical about the combat because this is something that I noticed very early on. What's strange is some of the choices made regarding the combat controls. Left click is the use of a melee weapon while right click is the use of a firearm instead of the traditional mapping of melee being mapped on the keyboard while the firearm is being controlled by the mouse, left click and right click. This isn't a bad thing, it just feels a bit odd and takes a bit of getting used to, especially when the enemies are on a bit of a faster side of things. This section of the game felt exactly as I expected in terms of difficulty, as they kind of ease players into the combat. I will say that I would have loved to see a bit more difficulty here as we're facing Miss Evil Y Hot, but overall, it was quite cool with amazing cinematics to go along with the scene and the combat. I want to take a moment to talk about the characters themselves because I think in terms of the overall quality of the characters designed, the developers nailed it. Though the majority of the test I was playing Berenica, but once I unlocked the Butterfly Queen Psyche and her scythe, I ended up using her over everyone else in the game for quite a bit of time. It was also cool that Pan Studio is playing with the idea of customizing the characters to our liking instead of simply giving skins to the players. There were many different bows, eye patches, and so much more that could be added to the overall look of the characters. The game also included each of the characters' English voiceovers, so here's what some of them sound like. Welcome back. What are your plans for today? Or are you planning to rest at home? Is that you? My friend from afar. Does your voice call out to me? I'm Hilda. A humble maid in charge of Miss Flora's daily care, nutrition, wardrobe, and guests. I also assist her in dispatching adversaries and turning away potential suitors in my spare time. So, should I be escorting you out or welcoming you in? Hilda. 
、着付け、来客の対応など、日々のお世話をさせていただいております。お休みを頂戴した日には敵を滅し、フラチモノを排除する役割も担っておりますが、さて、私はあなたを排除すべきでしょうかそれとも、丁重におもてなしすべきでしょうかあんたは俺にどんな役割を求めている友人それとも、あいつらのように自由に使える刃とでも I feel the need to add that we've had too many cases where incredible English voice actors have been added to games, and then, due to changes within a studio, the developers choose not to move forward with the English voice acting after including them into the game already while also keeping the other languages. I really hope that Pan Studio and Hero Games can respect those who enjoy English voice acting by keeping this language option available for the entirety of the game's life while expanding it to future content instead of removing it midway. Those of us who enjoy English voice acting fall in love with these characters and their voices as we continue through the story and the content. With stuff like this being removed, it detaches us from what we grew to love and makes the rest of the game that doesn't contain this option feel inconsistent, especially from a creator's perspective. Tear you apart, surrender. Those who harm you will be shown no quarter. <laughs> Tear you apart. Farewell. Let's revisit combat and add character progression into the conversation because I want to talk about the systems within the game. There's this combo system that is highly integrated into the combat, which can lead to more damage being dealt. But the issue is that there isn't much of a combo chain to justify this combo system. Without various different combo chains available, I don't see a point in this combo system. You could get away with it, and it's still fun to be in the game just seeing numbers go up as you hit the enemy. But with a combo system, I would expect actual combos based on how I'm moving and what inputs I'm entering into the keyboard and mouse to add more uniqueness and flashiness to the way that your players are defeating the enemies that they are facing. The Demon Wedges system is how you power up your weapons and characters that you obtain. Demon Wedges are basically the gear that you'll utilize after obtaining them through missions or through the game's forge system. This is where you'll add elemental attack power, slashing damage, attack speed, max ammo, and so much more. You'll basically optimize your stats by placing demon wedges within the corresponding slots that contain the matching symbols. This reduces how much they cost when applying them to your weapon and characters, allowing you to add more stat buffs to your weapons or characters. In this build of the game, you'll obtain all characters, weapons, cosmetics, and more through an achievement system and a forge system that I've been told is a work in progress. Meaning that through the forge system, you'll have to find the blueprint, earn the materials, forge the character or weapon, and wait real world time for the process to complete, or use a toy hammer to speed up the process. Through the achievement system, you'll have to complete specific tasks in order to obtain the rewards such as characters or weapons. So ultimately, what is my verdict on Duet Night Abyss so far? For an early build of the game, this shows a lot of promise for the future. The combat is fun, the selection of English voice actors are top tier, and the character progression is neat to mess with. However, they must find something that will make the game stand out as something unique. This technical test is a fantastic baseline to start off with, but optimizations must be made to how the game runs, the movement, the demon wedges system, and the story. They all must be played around with until something is developed that will give the players a fantastic experience. I enjoyed what I experienced so far, but I urge that Pan Studio take their time in order to ensure that the product contains its own individuality and fun mechanics that players can keep coming back to for years and years to come. I'd personally love to see raid bosses in this game with various forms of difficulty and various ways to build each character and weapon. I'd love to see loadouts so that I won't have to keep on changing the weapons after changing characters. I'd love to see a huge emphasis on co op and solo missions, allowing this experience to continue getting better based off of if you're playing alone or with your friends. Like I said, 
fantastic baseline, but it needs a lot of work. If you managed to get into the technical test, let me know in the comment section below. And also let me know what you think about the game after experiencing the game through me. I have more Duet Night Abyss videos coming very soon. Please keep the comments productive on ways the game can improve and what you'd like to see. Have a wonderful day, stay healthy, stay safe, and stay chaotic. Peace out, everyone.